The idea for the helicopter goes back to the Chinese top. A toy propeller which rises in the air when its shaft is rotated between the palms of the hands. Even Leonardo da Vinci, and later the Wright brothers, failed to turn it into a full-sized flying machine. Igor Sikorsky succeeded. The first Sikorsky helicopter took to the air in 1939. The success of its design pointed the way to the future. In the realization of his dream of a direct lift vehicle for saving lives, Igor Sikorsky had drawn the blueprint for helicopter development. We made it work. I remember a good friend of mine and a very prominent designer, uh, scientist in aviation, asked, when would the helicopter go faster than the airplane? Do you know that? I said, yes, I know. The answer is never. When would the helicopter be more efficient than the airplane? Do you know that? I also said, yes, I know that. Never. But I said that helicopter will do a number of jobs which no airplane will do and which, in fact, nothing else will do except a helicopter. Throughout his pioneering days, Sikorsky remained convinced that the helicopter's unique capabilities would assure it a place in the future of aviation. We made it useful. Sikorsky helicopters, introduced in the 50s, were the first to make use of turbine engines. Improvements in power-to-weight ratios combined with a myriad of other advances like autopilot, navigation, and flight control systems propelled the second generation of Sikorsky helicopters to the theoretical limits of rotary-winged flight. We made it perform. Igor Sikorsky had foreseen almost unlimited military applications for the helicopter. As early as 1940, he envisioned detachments of air cavalry capable of lifting men and machines over barriers that had halted armies since the beginning of time. In 1972, the Army issued a request for proposal for a new helicopter. 30 years of combat helicopter operations had taught the Army that to fully exploit the air mobile concept, a special breed of helicopters was needed. Army planners asked for a vehicle designed from the landing gear up for new levels of combat performance. But to assure battlefield commanders the readiness they demanded, something else was needed. That something was additional reliability, availability, and maintainability features which were incorporated in the Black Hawk design. The Black Hawk was built to be simple and tough like a truck, to fight, to survive, and return safely to fight again, anytime, anywhere. First tested in Grenada in 1983 and again in Panama in 1989, more than 500 H-60 Blackhawks and Blackhawk derivatives supported U.S. and coalition forces in the Persian Gulf War. Today, the Black Hawk is the standard by which all helicopters are compared. We made it reliable, available, and maintainable. Igor Sikorsky developed the first commercial applications for helicopters. With few exceptions, all the helicopters built for commercial passenger service eventually found work offshore, where nothing else could do the job. With today's introduction of an all-new commercial helicopter mock-up and marketing initiative by Sikorsky, the course of civil helicopter operations may well, and at long last, be forever changed. Sikorsky's S-92 initiative is the first commercial helicopter design built from the wheels up 
to win decisively in the war to slash operational costs. With the S-92 concept, Sikorsky will make commercial helicopter operations definitively profitable. The S-92 is a vision of the future, a peace dividend that will be both affordable and profitable. Like the S-61 it replaces, the S-92 will be descended from a highly successful military helicopter at its production peak. It will be the sole heir to 15 years of continuous improvement to the Black Hawk. Affordability will be its trademark. As heir to the H-60 program, the S-92 will inherit the Black Hawk's proven safety, reliability, availability, and maintainability features. It will share H-60 dynamic components and spares inventories. Profitability will be its legacy. The S-92 is designed to fly, fly, and fly again, up to 200 hours a month without unscheduled maintenance requirements. Its range, speed, and payload give it applications in offshore services, passenger operations, priority freight delivery, and more. The S-92 offers search and rescue and aeromedical capabilities unheard of even in light of today's space-age technologies. The S-92 will carry up to 19 passengers or 7,000 pounds of cargo 400 miles offshore with CAA fuel reserves. It will outperform fixed-wing aircraft on short-range commuter routes. The S-92 will slash the time required to move priority freight by ground transport to fulfill global industrialist streams of just-in-time inventory requirements. Twenty years ago, high operating costs took helicopters out of many civil operations before they got off the ground. The S-92 will reclaim the world of the helicopter to give today's and tomorrow's air carriers a new vehicle one whose unique characteristics will prove once again that a straight line is the most profitable distance between two points.